so yesterday we worked on our way to uh, get this when we hover over some actor you see this display message on capsule begin cursor over so we implemented this in c++ right so the next step is now i want to send a gameplay message that i can listen listen to that from my HUD so when I hover over one of these objects characters I can show their health as an overhead health bar so the next step is implementing the gameplay message all right so now in this video Unreal Engine gameplay message subsystem how to use in this video I showed you how to set up the gameplay messaging system in case you are not familiar with that feel free to refer to this video i'll leave the link in description so yeah now let's get to our c++ project and here i have this function on capsule begin cursor over so here this is where i need to send the message so first before we send in the message we need a structure to contain the message data so I ha already have some structures for example in this actor data and this resource data but I don't want to implement that in any of these files so let's go back to our project and let's add a new C++ class with none as the type and let's call it gameplay message structures put out of down utilities runtime react okay now here we have this so we don't really need any of these so let me just delete them But we need to make sure that we add this gameplay message structures dot generated dot h header file and then let's add the new struct blueprint type and let's call it struct uh, f message that's the name I want to use. Put this but I don't really need any of these things maybe I'll just have this uh, message string Okay, right now let's go back to the file and let's go to this server event implementation. And here, now that I'm going to send a gameplay message. And I'm going to use that uh, this common gameplay message structure. So I'll include this header file for the gameplay message subsystem and the gameplay message structures header file. So it's easier to navigate. Okay, now here, first thing I need is. Yeah. So F game tag. So this is the one we need, but the tag would be 
Open decoy. No. Let's don't. So. Let's be on. And then we need to create the message payload. So. I'm going to use F common gameplay message and let's call it message and then send this that means a reference to this base form actor whatever the actor and that's the message so in order to broadcast we need to get a reference to your gameplay message subsystem system. system yeah like this you can get a reference and then message subsystem broadcast message okay and even though I add this message text I don't really want to include any text here I only need to include who is sending this message so that's why I only initialize this all right now let's go back to our project and compile and let's see everything is all right no errors yeah good no errors Okay, now as I said, I want to listen to these messages so that in the heart I can sh add and remove overhead health bars. So let's see. Maybe we should here. This is the heart, WBP heart, but I want to add this uh, overhead health bars and maybe other related notifications in another widget. So let's add a new widget. Let's call it WBP. So here, right now I'm not going to work on anything, I just need to set up a listener. And here on initialize this listen for gameplay. Now here the channel. Well, I added it like this: actor dot events dot begin cursor over. Now we need to actually add this as a tag to our ini file. So add new tag and listen to that. Hello type f one. Gameplay message. When you receive payload, let's break and gameplay message. It's a thing. So all of it. Begin cursor over. And let's display the name of the actor. So let's increase this timing, maybe ten seconds. Color so that we can see it clearly. 
now if everything is working correctly but I need to add this so we already have the HUD in the game add, uh, add it to the viewport so I'll add also here otherwise it will not be anywhere okay now over see begin because of uh, pp you can see the messages over here, appear over here yeah so the message that i sent from the c++ side is received by our heart okay great now i need another message as well Same as this, but on capsule end cursor over. Same thing with here as well. The same thing. But now, Oh, we need to bind this event. I think I did that here. Yeah. Like this. And here I'll change the tag. Actor dot events and cursor over. And everything. Right. Now here, let's do the same thing. Now here, I will add some tag. Let you see easily two different messages. Begin cursor over and cursor over. See? Our begin cursor over and cursor over. Okay. Great. So the message system is working. Our HUD can successfully listen to the gameplay messages. The characters send when they are being hovered and our door so yeah the next step is actually implementing the overhead health bar which i will look into in the next episode okay so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available for download in the patron page link would be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.